Hello dear students our today's topic is synthesis of enthalmentic drug mebendazole as i mentioned earlier this drug belongs to the therapeutic category of enthalmentic drugs now look at the structure this is the structure for mebendazole and this is the iupc nomenclature of this structure if you look at the iupc name you will find that it is the methyl ester of this carbamic acid so it is called as methyl carbamate methyl and followed by the salt form carbamate so this is the basic nucleus methyl carbamate on this nitrogen of carbamate we have the substituent group so on nitrogen we have five benzoyl imidazole two il as a substituent group so from this iupc name if we pick this letters m e ben dia and sol it will become mebendazole so that is how the name is given to this enthalmetic drug next move on to the mechanism of action of this compound mebendazole bind with the colchicine binding site of beta tubulin inside the parasite which inhibit the tubulin polymerization and thus ultimately leads to the inhibition of the microtubule formation the microtubules are highly important for the uptake of glucose and nutrients for the parasite and though the glucose and nutrient uptake is inhibited it leads to the death of the helminths so that is the action of mebendazole now next move on to synthesis of this compound the synthesis takes part in three phases the first phase is synthesis of 3,4 diamino benzophenone which is very simple one our starting material for the synthesis is 4 chloro benzophenone now this nucleus is benzophenone and this is carbon number 1 this so this 2 3 and 4 our starting material is 4 chloro benzophenone which react with nitric acid at temperature less than minus 5 degrees centigrade now this is the very special condition here we have to carry out the nitration that is nothing but the electrophilic substitution reaction ultimately the nitronium ion is generated from nitric acid the nitronium ion then get attached on this position now why this is so because this benzoyl group is deactivating and meta director so for this group this is the meta position while the halogens are deactivating but are ortho para director so for chlorine this is the ortho position so due to presence of this group and this group ultimately electrophilic substitution reaction takes place at this position that's why the nitro group will get enter at this position and this gives us formation of this nitro derivative which is called as 4 chloro 3 nitro benzophenone this benzophenone derivative then is treated with ammonia in presence of sulfalane at an elevated temperature of 125 degree centigrade methanol is used as a solvent over here now the ammonia is nucleophilic in nature so it will attack this carbon to substitute this chlorine from this benzene ring so this is the nucleophilic aryl substitution reaction which takes place by liberation of hcl molecule one of the hydrogen and this cl will be removed out from here as a hcl and then amino group that is nh2 group will get attached at this carbon so we have formation of this derivative here you can find that the amino group had entered at this position so this derivative is 4 amino 3 nitro benzophenone this nitro derivative then undergoes the classical reduction reaction in presence of palladium and carbon so the nitro group gets 
reduced to corresponding amino group. So this gives a formation of 3, 4 diamino benzophenol. So dear student, that is the synthesis of first part. Now the second part is synthesis of this methyl carbamate derivative. Here our starting material is somewhat different one. Here it is S methyl thiouronium sulfate molecule which is the starting material and it reacts with methyl chloroformate and ester. Here this amino group in this case it is amino group attack on this carbonyl carbon to bring the nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction. The hydrogen and this Cl will be released out as HCl. That's why the reaction takes place in presence of sodium hydroxide and the condition maintained at the basic pH. So sodium hydroxide is used and the condition is being basic. It favors the formation of product of this reaction. In this reaction simply H and Cl will be removed out and this nitrogen then have the single bond with this carbonyl group. So here we get formation of this methyl carbamate derivative. Dear students, this is the methyl group and this is the carbamate where on nitrogen we have this much substituent that is the amino and methyl sulfanyl group. So this is our second part. Now the last part is preparation of benzimidazole. So the product of the first step that is 3,4 diamino benzophenone and the product of the second step that is the methyl carbamate. These two react together in presence of sodium acetate. Now the reaction takes place in such a way that this amino group attack on this carbon to release one ammonia molecule that is NH3 that means one of the hydrogen and this NH2 group will make up the ammonia which will be liberated out. This amino group attack on this carbon where one of the hydrogen and this CH3S will make CH3SH that is methanethiol which will be removed out. So ultimately this nitrogen and this nitrogen will have bonding with this carbon due to liberation of ammonia and methanethiol. So with this we have generation of this compound. Initially one NH and the second NH is formed. Hydrogen from this nitrogen will goes on to this nitrogen to convert it into the NH and this double bond is get shifted between this nitrogen and this carbon like here. Dear students you can find that the double bond is shifted over here and the hydrogen on this nitrogen has shifted on to the nitrogen to give us the tautomeric product which we have already studied in our previous synthetic schemes. So with this we get formation of our titled compound mebendazole. So that is all about the synthesis. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.